Dante here. Today I want to talk about orange or MVP pets. I've been see seeing a lot of questions online about which MVP pet I should get because once you get to map 400, you get these MVP pet shards and then you get a certain amount of these, then you can actually pick your MVP or orange pet. Okay, first, why don't we just go over each of these pets? So I've broken them into categories. And the first one I want to go over is the damage one, which is Osiris and Maya. So Osiris gives you attack as its main attribute and a combat capacity of a critical damage increase. Maya is pretty much the same thing as Osiris, except we get magic attack, which is for mages. All right, the next group is more of a time base. It's like pretty much for the long haul, you know, it's an idle game, which is these pets are pretty good for it. We have Drake, not the combat version. So we have Drake, which main attribute is defense, and it has this move combat capacity quick scanner, which reduces the time of searching the enemy. So you actually go into combat faster, which in turn gives you more money and EXP. Which in comparison to the Golden Thief Bug, it gives you a percentage of gold, and it gives you magic defense instead of defense. Alright, the next one you have are the more general ones, which is like pretty much good old, more or less. We have Dracula, which gives you max HP increase as an attribute, and the damage break, which for every max HP that you lose, the enemies lose a percentage of the current HP. We have Ega, which also increases your max HP, and a combat capacity for every normal attack, not skill, normal attack, there's a certain chance that it'll get multiplied by a certain percentage. And then we have Baphomet, Behemoth Baphomet, I apologize if I'm saying it wrong. That gives you an increase of invasion, and this actually increases your total damage by a certain percentage. Next we have Mistress which it gives you attack speed bonus and then a common capacity of damage received being decreased. So it's pretty much just a tank. And Baffle Myth is more of like a offensive one. Finally, the last one, Moonlight Flower, which a lot of people say isn't that great, gives you max HP increase and combat capacity of increasing your invasion for skills. Let's just go over, in my opinion, what I think you guys should get. So depending on, so in my opinion, you can either go with one of these, Drake or Golden Debug or Osiris or Maya, depending on which class you are. Because Drake and Golden Debug, they allow you to progress, right? You need more XP, more money, because most of the time those are the limiting factors to get you to rebirth. You want to get strong as fast as possible so you can rebirth. Everything is all about getting that rebirth. And then Osiris and Maya are also good candidates because they give you more attack, which in turn means you can knock out the boss faster, which means you can also progress. And these are also pretty good as combat pets as well. Here are some more likely candidates, depending on what kind of character you want to build. Um, since you want to do more damage, and you, since you, you want to knock out before it rages and kicks your butt, you can go with Ega or Baphomet to increase your DPS if you have Osiris or Maya already as is. Also, if you want to play a more defensive character, you can go with Mistress because this combat capacity will decrease the, dam decrease the damage that you take. Or Dracula if you're more of a leeching guy and then you can, you know, once you hit that turn and break point, get it, damage break, so you can keep hitting them with this effect. Um, the last one, Moonlight Flower, you probably don't want this uh, based just because of the combat capacity. It's mostly for PvP and then this game is like a lot of PvE and PvP because PvP skills happen so often, right? So you get more higher chance to dodge those skills. Your PvE, they only do one like for every skill set. So this may be the least one that you want. And as a bonus, Baffle Mid Junior. Let's see, critical, 140 for level 1, of course it increases as time goes. Compound capacity, you get enhanced metal, which you need for like refinement and things like that.
But yeah, I think you should get any of these to help you with your progression. So like Drake will go on deep bug or like the attack one so you can kill the monster and progress deeper into the maps. Just wanted to make a quick video of what I thought uh, and somehow it closed on me. So if you guys have any other opinion or discussion, you can like talk in the comments below or whatnot. So feel free to do that and later days.